Hey everyone, we're back with more, more Final Fantasy II. Uh, we're talking with Usain and uh, Vector and Faye. Um, you'll do the game. I, I highly recommend that. Uh, do the GameCube version or the enhanced Wii U version if you can. Uh, the GameCube version I found, like I played uh, the Wii version and I played the GameCube version and the Wii version, I found the GameCube version to be way better. Uh, there are two chests on this map. Alright, zombie, ghouls, and deadheads. Well, these are all new. Well, zombies aren't new, but ghouls and deadheads are. Grenades are new. Okay. Their little legs move so fast, witty Mitchy, hello! They are very quick. They're quick on their feet. Apparently, they hit really fast, too. Unfortunately, as you can see, the encounter rate is so high. How you doing, Michi? What's going on? Omega's playing Marvel Midnight Suns, guys. Get back from picking up Fire Emblem? I hope you enjoy it. I probably won't be picking up Fire Emblem, at least not for a while. Is that a Roblox map? It could be. Why is there a door just right there? Like I was telling uh, Isa the other day, um, I actually don't do uh, very well with uh, Fire Emblem games. I always go into them really, really excited to play them, because uh, I, I, I do like the stories, but I end up losing interest about midway through and just rushing, and yeah, that, that's been the case with every Fire Emblem game I've played. Um, and three houses. Uh, everybody was heralding it as the best game on the, Ninten on, on the Nintendo Switch, and when I played it, I didn't feel like it really did anything too much different or better than the other Fire Emblem games. In fact, a lot of things seemed worse just because they cut corners on stuff like graphics and uh, so, uh, like, like, like the food graphics just look like pixelated mush. That's just a nitpick. Um, but running around the monastery, which I recently called the mausoleum, <laughs> running around the mausoleum bored the shit. The mausoleum, the monastery bored the shit out of me. All right, deadhead. Oh, these are both new things. We haven't bought it. Oh wait, no. Uh, deadhead, we have. Shadows are new. We haven't bought shadow yet. Yeah, like a lot of people I know like really really like three houses and that's fine. Uh, but personally, oh my god, the monastery bored the shit out of me. As long as they give you some I heard that romance wasn't the uh 
the primary focus of this one. Alright, well, he's dead. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this new one. Uh, how, which Fire Emblem games have you played, Mitchie? I've played um, Awakening, uh, Birthright, and Conquest. I've played Three Houses, Warriors, and Three Hopes as well. I liked Warriors and Three Hopes. Room it's not to be a focus for the makers, as long as they don't take it out. You know your priorities. Good. I'm glad. Alright, let's see if these guys exploding kill off Yosef again. As long as you have fun with it, that's the important thing. Alright, she should survive. Yeah, like, the only thing that does damage to me right now is fucking explode. Which ends up just working in my favor, because... Mitchy, if you ever make a mace weapon that you can name, you should call it the Row Mace. And then for its flavor text, you could have Love Hurts. Oh, there's just three treasure chests along here? Alright. Alright. Well, let's see what's in here. So the goal for this game yeah, I played through Michi is to show everyone the story of the game because I like to revisit Final Fantasy games. But also, uh, we're trying to get all of the achievements. Yes. <laughs> you love the Rame, it's good. I look forward to seeing that in some game. Oh hey, it's better than you lose yet. Yeah, you lose smack or whatever. Is that why their little legs move so fast? Yeah. They're quick on their feet, basically. The game's been sped up a little bit. From the original game. I should see how much she needs to level up warp, because we gotta be getting close. Yeah, she is getting close, okay. Yeah, to doubt. After getting a battle axe in the first chest, the antidote's a little lackluster feeling. Oh, we got the rookie treasure hunter achievement, weirdly after a fight. Monsters! Oh, okay. Well, we got the preemptive attack, so. Well, I ended up being less good than I had hoped it would. Alright. Gotta flip your food in the air fire? Okay. We'll be here. Plopomets. Warp leveled up. A mithril mace. I only have one of those. Could you imagine that? Like, they need mithril, right? And... There's just mithril in this game. Oops, I didn't mean cast. Oh, there you go. Warp 5. Yeah, I think they'll auto-heal the lowest person. And by the lowest health person, I mean quite literally. Even if, like, the disparity between one person is, like, 600 out of 1,000 HP and the other person's at 330 out of 332, they'll heal the 330 person first. On auto-heal, I mean. Alright. I guess now we just go down here. But I think we're still missing an enemy called Dual Heads?
Yeah, you know, this dungeon has dead head and dual heads, so we're just missing monster called dual head. Which I suspect this is one of the monsters that'll be in, like... Oh, okay. Got some more treasure here. Yeah, let's just get some HP now, though. Look at that. Uh, no, still no deadhead. Yay, a potion. Yay, a blizzard tongue. Yay, he knows blizzard now. So far he knows fire, teleport, blizzard, and cure. Of which only cure is any any strong. I like how our cure magic isn't actually gaining any. That's very weird. Potion? Okay. He'll be fine. Agility keeps going up. A metal spear. Ooh. I thought these guys just self destruct. That's just the thing. Yosef. <sighs> Do we go through this door? Probably. Let's check the door. It's probably a dead end. Yeah. I still need to find the dual head tone. Dude, why is this cavern so gigantic? Really didn't want to even find this damn goddess, goddess spell, did they? Block all those tax bitches. A mithril shield. Look at that. I haven't found my dual heads. It really is that.
Yeah, I figured that would be a dead end, but, you know, I gotta step in there and check just to be sure. There they are. Oh, wow, you did fuck all. Same got some axe, uh, stats with it for it, though. Characters are just rolling in the stats right now. Oh shit, uh... Look, I think there's only one thing in this area, and I think it was the, um... Treasure chest in the other corner, so let's go get that first. Yes. Okay. We're ambushed again, guys. Block. Block. They try to run away. Block. Block. Even their runaway attempt was blocked. That's how high my evasion is. Monsters! All that remains is two shadows. My carabushes just plowed through them like they weren't even there. Ability. And we get an ancient sword. Ooh, I want that. Hell yeah. In FF5, the ancient sword is fucking disgusting. For a huge portion of the game, it is so good. At least I think it was the ancient sword. Might have been the stone sword. It's the sword that causes old. Yeah, old is a status effect in FF5. Sorry guys, but like, the kind of rate in this is really high. Not much I can do about it. Except overpower my character so that the kind of rate does not matter. I can do that. Hey there. Giant beaver. Snuck chit. Snuck chit. Snuck chit. Snuck chit. Snuck chit. Snuck chit. These, these beavers don't even really have beaver tails. Snook, snook, chit? A scene. Speak beaver. Snook, snook, chit? Secret passage in wall to right. Monster guard bell. Bell in wall. Oh, look at this. Entire, entirely more dungeon. Okay. We have one chest left again. That's down here at the bottom. Okay. It's a good thing my evasion's so high because my characters are being terrible at killing these. Got the battle axe though. Which is funny because we found a battle axe in this place. Peter the Ghoul. Vector! You gotta catch the slack off. Guys, okay, so I'm back there for a boss fight. We fought in two bosses on stream today.
Give or take. Oh, right. I remember this, right? This is the part I thought was in Senate Falls, but... Hey there, big guy. That's an adamantoise guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. So, he looks just like the land turtle, just a different model. And this is our third boss of the day. Pretty sure adamantoise are also weak to ice. Maybe it was fire. Adamantoise are classic enemies in Final Fantasy, though. Okay, good job. You did amazing. Alright, get back, dude. So, if I remember correctly, he has a really good chance to drop, like, a super good piece of equipment. There's something set in the wall. It's the Goddess's Bell. We got it, guys. Oh, hey, look. Alright, so guys, there's something um, I know about coming up here. He leaves the party, so I'm just going to take his equipment now. You finally got them the goddess bell. First you ruined my standing with the Emperor, and now this. The Emperor will forgive me for messing this up. If I ever go back to the Empire, he'll have my head. But I'm still a soldier. If I'm going to die, you're coming with me. Morgan. The hardest boss in the game. Alright, we gotta really make sure that we make ourselves ready for this fight. Yeah, that was Borgen. <laughs> Just walk around his corpse. <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think that you've won. I booby trapped this cave. Just a little parting gift from me to you. I'll be waiting for you in hell. Ugh. Damn it. Go on, get out. We not leave you. I can't hold it much longer. Run. It's up to you now, Steve. Sweet Ellie. Yosef! Dude, that man's pancake. I think that might technically be one of the most gruesome deaths in Final Fantasy uh, 2. Or in Final Fantasy in general, because I can't think of anybody literally getting flattened. I saved my game out here. Hmm. 
If you guys recall, the uh, airship would take us to Kashawan, which is where we need to go next anyway, so... Finally started getting some uh, progress to record it's Cure 6. In fact, I'm just going to have to start casting Cure again since we're heading back to the end now. Might as well get some more points towards leveling it up. As there's an achievement for getting a spell to level 16. We only need 11 more levels for it. You know what, guys? I'm actually really excited to play Final Fantasy 3 again. I'm enjoying this. But there's something to be said about job systems. I really love job systems in games, which is why we need Dragon Quest 3. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Square. Dragon Quest 3. Release it. No, I'm not one of those. Take your time. Make it good. But I do at least want to know what it's what it's, what it's going to get here. I do really like, uh... Because, uh, Dra Dra Dragon Quest Three was one of the first games with, like, a really involved, um... job system, and... Even then, it's not really super involved, but for, but for its time, like, they had, did some interesting things, like being able to job class change and cross class, like, in D&D. &D. Um... Like, you could make a, a warrior who could use magic, for example. Uh, Blue Dragon was really good with its job system. Uh, any of the Dragon Quest with job systems was, was fantastic. Uh, all the Final Fantasies, obviously. Um, there are other games that have them, but... My mind is now drawing a blank to every every game with, blood, with job systems. I mean, you know, like, Bravely Default, of course. I guess the job system was one aspect of the Fire Emblem series I enjoyed. Yeah, because of Like a Dragon, obviously. Yes, it's the same, thank you. I have not played Actria and Odyssey, no. Uh, didn't, um... Yeah, Golden Sun had a really interesting uh, job system in it as well. 